A good preparation is a good job. A good preparation is a good job. Una buona preparation, un buon lavoro. That's what Sandro Torani, the designer of my slate, always told me. Imagine for a moment you are in my place, on my sled, ready to reach 123 meters. Top départ. Comme dans tout record, il y a une part d'inconnu. Sous la surface, le monde m'appartient. Fini le bruit, fini l'agitation. Je suis désormais seul dans ma bulle d'oxygène. Les yeux fermés, je m'évade dans la lumière. Mes pensées sont comme autant de couleurs. L'eau n'est pas aussi noire que ce qu'on pense. Quand j'atteindrai 123 mètres, la pression sera de 14 kg cm carré. When people think about freediving, they think about drowning. They feel the fear of black, cold, loneliness, lack of air. And this is this fear that could make them fail. Fear leads to doubt. Doubt breeds thought. Thought breeds error. Error causes failure, and failure causes loss. Because in fact, our worst enemy is the fear of the unknown. Let me show you how to keep this enemy in everything you do very small. I believe there are four important elements to safety in water and everywhere. Making the unknown known is one of them. Take sharks, for example. Who here is afraid of sharks? You? No? You? Me. When I was younger, I was terrorized by shark. You think that I come from the big blue generation, le grand bleu? No. I'm born in 1975. I am Joe's generation. You remember Joe's? This is a scary one. This is a great white shark. Every day, I wanted to dive deep into the ocean. But in the same time, I was terrorized to meet a shark, a shark I never met before. So I had to take a decision. Abandon, give up, or face my fear. I decided to face it. I took a plane, went in the ocean, landed, went slowly to the beach, opened slowly my bag, put slowly my flippers on, my wetsuit, my mask, and I slowly slided into the water. I wanted to meet my first shark. After 15 minutes, I saw a big, a yellow, a slow lemon shark, a huge one. And do you know what happened? When he saw me, he ran away. <laughs> yeah. Before me, can you imagine my surprise? He was afraid of me. Because in fact, for the shark, I was the unknown. For the shark, I was the shark. At that moment, I understood that we are terrorized by the unknown only. By making the unknown known, I have eliminated the fear, with no fear not adopt and a fewer chance of fault. This is the first important element to safety, and here is the second. After this big adventure, it was a big adventure, I went back in my country, Monaco, for training with my coach, Jacek Czajnowski, a Polonist from the 80s. I think he's from the 70s, in fact. And I will always remember what he said to me. Pierre, yeah, he had a Polonese accent, better than the French accent, less sexy, but uh, Polonese accent. It was something like, Pierre, if you train with me, you will be world champion one day. You will be on the top of the mountain. 
and you will see the world in its entirety. You will be on the top of the mountain, but you will be alone. And then, what will you do with that? Diving in the bottom of the ocean is to dive deep inside of you. To discover a new world, you must first of all discover yourself. Success is never a coincidence. You need to be prepared. You need to be well organized. Security comes from the organization. Success is to master your body, to master your emotion, to master space and environment. To succeed is to know, not to tam, not to master. Know and no longer be afraid. This is to be an expert of your discipline. This is why the second element of safety is to know yourself. When you try to achieve something great or something new, you need at first to know who you are. But it takes time for that. That's why you have to start early, like the children I train in my school from eight years old. So, to be safe in water and everywhere, you need to know the unknown and to know who you are. But it's not enough. You need two more elements. Achieving any goals requires planning, preparation, consideration, correction, and refinement. For all of this, you first need a team. When I was young, I always wanted to be the best in everything. And when I started freediving, I wanted to be the best freediver of the world. But I was alone. And alone, we are nobody. We are nothing. The adventure is only collective, or it is not. A freediver, if he wants to stay safe, to be secure, he needs to give the keys of his performance to somebody else. In the team I was, when I was training with my team, I never decided the depth I reached during my trainings. Claude Chapuis and Serge Vermillac always decided for me, oh, you look great this morning, Pierre. You will do 72 meters, 80 meters, 90 meters, 123 meters. They were able to put barriers on me. They were able to stop me when I was too impatient and sometimes to push me when I was too slow. During the world record, when the athlete arrived to the surface with the tag in his hand, everybody applauds, thinking he's the champion, alone, he won alone. But this is totally wrong. He won because of the team who worked as no limit during so many months to make this dream coming true. In the team I was part of, we were more than 25 different people, with all the same goal, but a different mission. One was the coach for the team. Six were the security divers for the team. Twelve were the safety divers for the team. Uh, one was the chrono for the team, me. My job was to go down at the bottom and to take the tag for the team. And at the end, we won or we failed, but all together, stronger than anybody else, like a family. One for all and all for one, like the musketeers. So, to be safe, you need to know the unknown, to know who you are, and to be part of a team. But it's not enough. You need one more element. When you free dive deep, there is a rope who goes from the surface to the bottom and back. You have to follow this rope. In fact, you follow a line. If you lose it, you drown. If you drown, you die. Security comes from the organization. To secure a project, we need a plan. We need to follow strong values, what I call the Waterman values. Courage, honor, sharing, fraternity, humility, 
and commitment. So, to be safe in water and everywhere, we need to know the unknown, to know who you are, to be part of a team, and we need a plan, strong values. But why? Do you know that according to the WHO, more than 360,000 people are dying every year by drowning, and especially children under five years old. With the Princess Charlene Foundation of Monaco, we decided to teach early swimming to the children. Our program is oriented to three goals. Learn to swim, life-saving, water safety and security giving the good tools to children to build a sustainable future, giving the children the good tools to be autonomous in the water, giving the children the good tools to be autonomous in their life, but more than rescuers or good swimmers, give them a real power, the power to become accomplished teenagers, accomplished adults, accomplished citizens ready to dive into life. A good preparation is a good job. Thank you.